안녕하세요 여러분 This morning I'm gonna share with you my experience in sudden loss of power of my Mustang The replace part the spark plug iridium spark plug and the ignition coil Step number one to access the engine hood in the front you must pull this latch driving there was sudden loss of power of the engine as I press the accelerator it does not accelerate as expected and it only moved very slowly 20 km per hour and there was throttling that you can feel and you can hear the engine is rattling yes there are many possibility but for this case it is the same experience that I had for my previous car it is because of problem of misfiring uh, for this car is run on four cylinder one two three four if either one of the cylinder is not moving it will result in the loss of power of the car if more than one cylinder is not moving the feeling of loss of power is even worse now when you start your engine igniting the car the current will be delivered from the car battery about 12 plus voltage to this area to run the engine now this black area one two three four is basically the what we so call ignition coil this is the structure this basically function like a transformer to convert a 12 plus voltage to a high thousand plus voltage enough voltage to drive a spark of the spark plug and ignite the combustion for the cylinder to run when you feel that the cylinder is not moving the problem can be because of the battery is weak or the delivering cable is faulty or the ignition coil is faulty or perhaps the last would be this spark plug is 40. Now close to the boot latch button, there is an area called OBD. It functions like a USB port for you to communicate with the circuit board of the car to run a diagnostic test. It is so accurate, it can able to locate which ignition coil that is having the problem by generating a code for reference. The connection between the ignition coil and the spark plug can be disassembled by simple pull to release the ignition coil it is easy by unscrew this area by using a wrench it's a simple DIY job indeed screw is loosened up you will realize that it can be easily pull up the ignition coil now the challenge is to determine which ignition coil is problematic without the OBD diagnostic set it can be done by try and error method now let me show you how to run this diagnostic test the DIY way now this is cylinder area number one two three four now in this case the second cylinder it is a problematic one so G will run on three cylinder which is one three and four Cylinder 2 does not contribute at all for the running of the engine at that particular time. So by disconnecting the connection port, the ignition coil or the spark plug will not result in further worsening of the throttling of the engine. On the other hand, if you were to disconnect the power supply port, the ignition coil or spark plug of cylinder area 1, three and four you will realize the engine will throttle even worse or even dies off you can run a double check by switching the suspected problematic spark plug ignition coil to the area that is working and run the test again this DIY diagnostic test is indeed very reliable having been able to locate the problematic ignition coil uh, I've decided to change the rest of the ignition coil simply because um, the part is not that expensive um, plus 
when one coil is problematic, it also signifies that the other coil probably it is at the time of wearing off. And you do want to take chances and you may consider changing it in one go to save the problems in the future. Now, let me show you after repairing the problems. There is no faulty signal indication and on accelerating the sound is smooth no throttling the engine sounds is smooth no knocking sound as the misfiring problem has been fully resolved